So, I guess I have a few things to talk about today. Um, gosh, where do I start? Um, well, I mean, you know, I've shared my story. Um, I may put the link to the video in the description box below my 44 year journey with bipolar disorder. And I've just been thinking about some things the last several days. And, you know, just because people are are covered in the blood of Jesus doesn't mean that we don't have problems, right? Doesn't mean that the Lord is going to spare us from physical illness or psychiatric illness or anything like that. Um, you know, we, we live in a fallen world, so it, it is what it is. Um, but uh, anyway, if I didn't have to run this particular errand for my husband, I probably would not even be out of the house today. Um, but anyway, we have been with my mother-in-law for five and a half years. Five and a half years in a tiny, 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 tiny bedroom. Um, guest bathroom. And, you know, being human, sometimes that's just too much. And, but that's why we have the body. That's why we have our brothers and sisters to lift us up in prayer to pray for us. But, you know, I'm just like anybody else. You know, I'm going to have my good days. I'm going to have my bad days. I can't get this hair out of my way. Sorry. Um, so, you know, um, I think that people would appreciate the fact that if we, you know, let's take our mask off sometimes and let's just keep, it, keep things real. The things aren't always rainbows and unicorns. Even when you're saved... The Lord is not going to allow things, even when resting in Christ, which is wonderful, even with this, you know, when I have my periods of depression, spiritual warfare is me choosing in faith to trust and rest in Christ when, no matter what my mood may be telling me that day. That spiritual warfare is choosing the trust in Christ regardless of the situation you're in. So, it doesn't mean that resting in Christ is always easy. It doesn't mean it's always rainbows and unicorns. But, like I said in one of my previous videos, you're going to go through trials whether you know the Lord or not. You're going to go through good times and bad times whether you're covered by the blood or not. So, why not ask Jesus and get saved today? You know, A, admit that you're a sinner in need of a Savior. B, believe on Jesus and in his finished redemptive work on the cross. And C, call on Jesus to save you, right? But it's really just the B, all about the believe. Really, it's just believe. That's it. So why not just believe on Jesus and in his finished redemptive work on the cross? And then he will walk through. It doesn't mean it won't be hard, but he will still walk with you. You will still have the body of Christ to pray for you and to lift you up. And I'll take that over anything else. Um, he's in the middle of the storm. He's, you know, when you only see one set of footprints, that's because Jesus is the one that's carrying you, right? So, um, anyway, so, you know, I don't have my moments, right? This weekend has been one of those, those times where if I get up to brush my teeth, I'm doing well, right? I'm just being honest. And I think that honesty is always the best policy. You know, I... I don't want to come across as being one of these fake people that everything's always hunky-dory when, it, when it's not. But the reality is that Jesus is still on the throne. Jesus is still who he says he is. I am still who Jesus says I am in him. I am still righteous, holy, unblameable. Okay? So I'm resting in those facts and those identification traits. And, you know, so... But, you know, and in that, in the midst of resting of those identification truths, I am just, you know, just thinking over all this stuff, you know, how five and a half years is a long time, you know, and I, and I started thinking about, well, wow, you know, about pr Christians that have been over the centuries, right? Christians that have been unjustly imprisoned, you know, for decades and stuff. And no offense to my mother-in-law, but it kind of, at times it does feel like a prison. You know, and with my illness, it's it's not it's it's just that much harder at times with my illness. Now we have we have paid help that comes in three times a week. That's the only reason why I've lasted this long. Um, but I you know 
I just have to remind myself that as hard as it is, this is temporal. You know, I can't look like positionally. I'm already, you know, seated in the heavenlies positionally. You know, I am not cramped up in this tiny little bedroom positionally and all that mess. Um, you know, and I guess maybe this will help some of y'all. I don't know. Maybe I'm just sharing this. That these are some things that this this weekend, for example, is just one of the, those weekends I'm having to deal with these things. You know, and maybe me being honest about some of my struggles will help somebody out there who, another Christian who thinks he or she is all alone because you're not alone. There are other people that deal with this kind of stuff. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, like, you know, not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, say the Lord. I really don't have any platitudes to say today. I really don't have anything necessarily inspired to talk about today. I'm just being honest. I'm just throwing this out there. Like, and I know when I'm resting in these identification trees, but sometimes life sucks. <laughs> and, but even so, like that um, Horatio Spafford who uh, wrote the hymn, It Is Well With My Soul. Even so, it is well with my soul. So even though right now, life for me seems to be, it just sucks, right? My, you know, my husband's having to work seven days a week. And it's like, and when I have to deal with my, uh, my, my depression and stuff, you know, it's really hard when he's not around. And plus, we're taking care of my our son's dog, Ava, which is, it, you know... Yeah, that's just pushing me over the edge. Um, so, you know, in the midst of my life, the fact that this weekend it just sucks, even so, it is well with my soul. That's what faith is for. The reason why the Lord doesn't give us a roadmap is because if he did, we wouldn't have to have faith. So, you know... Um, I definitely covet prayers, for sure. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come out there and say, you know, life isn't always rainbows and unicorns. YouTube isn't always rainbows and unicorns. And you know what? Thank goodness I don't have to worry about keeping myself saved. I cannot imagine these idiots, okay? I'm just going to be honest, who refuse to see the truth. Who refuse to acknowledge that it's by grace alone through faith alone and Christ alone, okay? They are, tr their gospel is truly, how shall I say this? Um, well, the King James Version of the Bible calls it rubbish. And rubbish refers to dog mess, okay? So, using that terminology, legalism, anything that's added to a uh, added to the gospel is nothing but rubbish coming out of their mouths. That is how evil it is. Okay? And people that that are mentally fragile like me and others, it can drive some people to suicide. Okay? So it is just it is beyond evil. And I am so thankful when I have days like this that Jesus has got me. I don't have to worry about it. The Lord doesn't expect me to conjure up some emotion for him. You know, he just, he doesn't, he doesn't expect anything out of my flesh. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He, you know, he, I mean, he's got me. Wow, this is helping me, y'all. I'm just going to be, you know what? I'm just going to review. All right, here we go. Jesus died for my sin. My flesh has been crucified. My illness is positionally already cured positionally my illness is cured positionally I'm not restrained by this tiny bedroom positionally I'm already seated in the heavenlies I am a co-heir with Christ positionally I am already living out the reality of the mystery which is Christ in me the hope of glory and I am loved Jesus loves me I am not unloved I am loved he loves me unconditionally he loves me when I'm having a good day, and he loves me when I'm having a bad day. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This, I praise your name, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for the fact that even though, like, I'm not, I have not been having a lot of good days, 
that you're still on the throne and you still love me. You still love me. You still, if I would have been the only person, you still would have come and died for me. Just so that you could have that relationship with me. Wow. So, Lord, I just pray that you will use this um, to encourage other people. Um, I just pray that you will use this to lift others up. They are not alone, Lord. You are there for them. You love them unconditionally. And it's okay to have a bad day. It's okay. It's okay to be honest. It's okay not to have to wear that mask. It's okay. I feel better, y'all. And you know what? That wasn't me. That I'm not making myself feel better. It was the Holy Spirit. Because that nothing good dwells in my flesh. I'm not able to conjure up anything for God. He has to do it all. And I thank, thank you, Lord Jesus, for that. All right, guys. Love y'all.